Hi everyone, it's Robin. Um, I'm starting this tutorial with um, oranges. I This is a sheer orange. This is a more uh, thicker orange and I'm going to go down into red. But um, I'm just going to, because she likes um, French manicures, I'm here with Nameless and we're going to do goth girls for Halloween. And so I'm going to put on the the sheer, sheer orange as a way to ombre this orange uh, French and create like darker tones. So I'm going to start with that one, go to a thicker, maybe I'll go with the red middle. Okay, I'll do with the darker last. You can do it however which way you like to do it, but I like mine to remain looking artistic looking and that way I can make it look like my own, you know? So there's that, the red and orange, and then going in with a thicker orange in the middle might not work it might work okay I will use a brush so I'm going to get my wand and go into the thicker orange glitter or whatever glitter you guys have and kind of like mix it that way I can take the mediums and the darks and kind of turn them quickly into a backdrop. So there it is, normal. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the dark red. And this is all polish. So just every three or four nails, you have to wipe your brush onto the acetone. Pop, pop, wipe it through, wipe it off, and then go back into the red. And there you go. You can do this whole um, area like that pretty quickly, and I'll meet you back. And and you can do them up to where they have a little, let me make sure I'm in, nope, I wasn't. You can um, fill them up with the little crosses and stuff like that, or you can just keep on going until they're all the way filled. I'm gonna do these, and let me do another one. This is a very tiny nail. Um, boom, boom, and then and put like another one. And if the nails were bigger, you could add grass to it, and um, you can add like more of a grave uh, yard. But because her nails are so short, you cannot, it, it won't translate. And so like you have to do that, and then quickly after you're done, just cap the ends in black, and that is the um, dirt. And when it's done, it will look like this. Now I didn't do a lot of the graves on there, but I will, I'll, I'll go back and, and fill it in. But you start light, and then if you end up having more time, then you add more, according to your time schedule. And I'll meet you back. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not gonna meet you back. I'm just gonna keep on painting. I'm gonna do a girl holding out a parasol. And so, do I wanna put the moon right there? Yes or no? I kinda like it, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the moon, and it's and it's a white moonish kind of moon. So I'm gonna just go ahead and lightly put it in. This takes practice, especially to get them round, but you will over time. I've painted so many, and white cracks, and so it's better to do three really thin layers of white than it is to do one thick layer and have it crack. Even though if it does crack, just fill it in and then top coat. Make sure that you top coat it really well because if it starts to crack and get thick and then you top coat it, it might peel like a sticker and crumble. And if you are having that happening, it is because your paint is too thick. So that is just good enough to know that there's a moon there and it seals the idea. Then I'm going to go in and make this woman standing in front. Oh, I might have put it, made it too big. You know what? No, I'll make it the opposite way. So, so that'll even be better. So I'm going to put her face facing this way, out this way, and then here's her neck. Actually, that's best. And then here is her shoulders. And, okay, so there's that. Now, I'm going to have it going across the moon like this, this thing. And then I'm going to make her parasol. So the parasol is a spider web. And I want it to go straight up along the cuticle. <laughs> it's one time a year, nameless. It's okay. It's not solid. I can handle it. Right. And it's just a web. 
every time. Every if you can start to get freaked out, this is <laughs> remember it's just a web. I can do it. I can do it. Let's see. Let's see. If it comes back picked up in a couple of weeks, I'll know you couldn't. Uh. So there's this, and then oh my gosh, I've been wanting to do this on film for forever. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. I did. It's it's like awesome. And you guys asked for goth girls, so I was like, oh my gosh, I might get to do a spider web uh, parasol. So, okay, so there's this, and then that doesn't really look too cute. Okay, let's go back in. I'm going to let you keep me in frame while I paint her right quick. Got you. Okay, so I'm just going to do this real quick, and you don't have to add the girl, but if you do, that would just be at the end of the service so that you stay on time, and you do it as quickly or as take as much time to detail as possible. Here's her flesh tone, there's her neck, and we're gonna go down and fill it in like this. She's wearing black, so I don't have to worry about that. And she, and I'm gonna do her hair down. Yeah, if there's less time, always a silhouette looks nice. Yes. We, and we do hit those times where a silhouette is all we have time for, and Shoot, we should have done that today just to show. But but all you do is you do this without filling in the outside. Okay. Yes. Just like this. Okay. And then I will make her eyes nice and blacked out. Hair up, nose. Down. And all of this, no matter how it looks at the, t at the beginning, you just keep working it until it works for you. So her neck's too long. So I'll go like this and make it shorter. Make her face more. And I do want it to look gothic, so. I'm gonna spray my paint. It's getting way too thick. Clean my brush out. Too much paint doesn't give me enough point on my brush, and I know that I have to go in very thin. So, go in. My thin down paint and my brush, I can re-establish the neckline. And then, with a tiny little red, I'll make her mouth, and then make her hair flow, because she's blowing in the wind. Okay, now you can make her scary here or beautiful, it's up to you. And this is very tiny. It's just me messing around and trying to show you guys on film. We've done this so many times. What are they? What are they called? Nameless. I give my heart to you. Yeah, I give the little, I give you my heart, little goth. I give you my heart. Oh my people. gosh. Yeah. Look up Robin Moses. I give you my heart. And and we've done like gothic girls so many times on nails, and um, we love them. Like I can do this all every day just paint like lots of little dolls i love it it calms me down you i like to do it for valentine's day <laughs> yeah because uh, we don't do hearts <laughs> yeah we don't do hearts uh, like i said in my videos I, I was like i was like your customers dictate what you paint you can paint like the best like cars in the world and all this stuff but it's what your customers love and then you just try and like do your best for them you know because you don't know what they're gonna love. <laughs> yeah, somebody else loves hearts. That's just you yeah. know not our day. Right, not our day. Okay, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work on her, and then on when I. What should I? I'll talk to you about how I want to decorate her. Off camera, but I mean she's pretty well done. Took shape pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, and then on the other one, let me see. 
Can, can you put them in? I'm trying. Okay. Okay, so we're going, you in? Yep. Okay, are you in now? Yep. Okay, so we are going to have our guy behind like this and he's like this and then he is going to be, oops, he's going to be wearing his, what, what should I make him, okay, I know, I'm going to make him in a black shirt. He is clutching his heart and running after her. With a, what should I put? A black, a, a black um, bouquet of roses? Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh, that'll be so cute. Most definitely. Okay, so we're just making this up. Okay, so here's this. <laughs> running, run, 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 run. There's his arm. This. And he is like professing his love. Okay, let's put his hands like this. And we'll do like very thin paint and then Okay, oh my goodness. Oh. And then we're gonna make his eyes all dark and mysterious. Come back to me, Katharina, Arturo. He's gonna look like the scream guy. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm making him. It's like, no! Don't leave me, my no. love. Awesome. I think I want him to have a, a, a top hat on. Oh my gosh, I was literally just thinking top hat. That's really? so funny. Oh my yes. gosh, that's because we are family. Bro, okay. we've been twinning all day. I know, we really are. Our thoughts. Okay, we're gonna do that. Dun, dun. Oh, I love me a top hat. That's kind of reminded me of my tattoo. I know it does, and and I there's so many things that we that we accidentally almost painted today. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get in there and do his little eyebrows. Do his little thing. He's yelling out for her, "Come here to me!" Come back to me, darling. <laughs> I need you. Okay, so then let's do his little fingers around this floral, floral too. Three. That's all you need. It's just the insinuation, and um, and then the the his cuff to be thicker, so it looks like he's wearing something thick and of substance. If you do things long and lean and wispy, he's gonna look more like a girl. But just giving him more density in his clothing and his textiles will just help to like get him like more like heavier. She's more ethereal. Okay, and then. Um, Oh, I think he's great. Um, this. Okay. And we will. Oh, oh, oh. Let me. How would I hold his hand? His hand will be like. Holding out to her like. My darling. Why, why? Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> Okay, okay. I thought we talked about this. Yeah, um, sorry. <laughs> sorry about last Friday. <laughs> I didn't know it was your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let me finish all these gravestones. Okay, now here is the end result. I top coated this with Wet n Wild Matte Top Coat. This should last for two to four weeks without any problems at all, even with a Wet n Wild Top Coat because my thin, my uh, layers are so thin. So um, even though every single space is not covered in with paint and there's open areas, I wanted you to see it's 
how the, the imperfections of it create like this mysterious, almost watercolor existence that almost just looks like a, what is that? And then you, your eyes are drawn to look at it. Because I had so much different pigments with glitter on it, when I top coated it with the matte, it kind of gave it a luminescent effect and made it look like it was almost underground. So, so like this, this I, I, in real life, it's really luminous. Can, can we see your thumbs real quick? Okay, because I always want to see the thumbs. Anyways, you guys, I am uploading my story. I'm uploading um, Halloween designs. I hope you guys like them. Um, I'm trying not to edit them. Everything that you see is everything that happened here, except for the extra work so you didn't have to watch every single nail I did. But please leave me comments and questions and um, things like that in the comment section on the days that I upload. And please follow my story if you're new at nail art. It will be in the beginner's playlist until I get enough of them made to where I can make a stories list. But um, I'll put them all in a playlist once they all get together. Um, you can get brushes worldwide at RobinMosesNailArt.com. It is what I use to do all my videos. And if you, oh, is it pretty? Oh, I love them. She's, she's like, rebuking him. She's like, no, not no. today, honey. <laughs> and um, if you try them, please say "Inspired by Robin Moses." Can you see that? nameless most there? of it okay great and um I'll, I'll fix it and i will have there we go yeah let's get it back hashtag me this this makes sure that i see your work so that i can see what you're doing and comment and like it and stuff like that because if i don't see it i can't like see what i'm teaching and stuff i think it's so cool here's my brush i used robinmosesnailart.com this is the wand i also have a striper brush for c-curve nails and i will see you back with more everybody have a great day oh Bye. Bye. Oh, they're so cute. Let me zoom in one more time. I love oh, them. Oh, I do. I like them. They're very cool. Just very sweet. Very cool for Halloween. Awesome. Okay, I'll see you back with more. Bye. Bye.